Okay, back again. No, did did not work. Um, here's my screenshots. Last screenshot, and I went ahead and just went to the camera just to be different and uh, start streaming. And uh, so you could see the slight movement there. I waited a little bit. It didn't crash instantly. Some usually it crashes instantly, but then it finally went down brought up the error message before while well, I was still doing I don't know what I was thinking or something so anyway <clears throat> brought up the error message a little sooner I think and uh, then it usually does <coughs> usually I do everything I need to do open the program back up and start begin to start fiddling with it and then it comes up uh, uh, but um, yeah that didn't matter um So, again, I think I'll just put it back on uh, the one that I know. It's got everything set up. Well, well, the reason I, yeah, the reason I, I kept putting it on this is because I can hit, uh, of course, I didn't want to use that, though. But I can hit the, the mutes are all, you know, the toggle on, toggle off, that's what they call it, I think. Uh, in the settings, um, but the, I have my sh shortcut keys. I don't have any short. I don't have the shortcut keys set up for the camera one yet. Uh, that doesn't. It's not. It's not hard, or any. It take a long time to do them. Well, one of the t one of them, but all of them takes a while, and you gotta. You can get them wrong pretty easy, you know. So, but. Um, and you do have to do them one at a time. There's no copying and pasting for that. So I would say that it doesn't really matter if you copy and paste those audio. And they, the crazy thing is, when you copy and paste them, it lets you do it just no problem. But if you're going to put them in manually, you know, the way I did my previous videos today, it won't let you. You have to give them different names. Um, and I swear. I do remember, I don't know if it was crashing when I hit stream or not. I just remember that, that I had to do that. And I do still remember, I still, I swear, I just don't know what the problem was. But there was some kind of problem um, the last time I, I uh, that I had to not, uh, well, the two things, well, I'm pretty sure there was a problem and I couldn't have all the same name in every one like, that, like I do there. Uh, and the way you can do that is copy and pasting, you know, from one to each scene. They let you do that, but um, uh, and then like, and I do remember that when I had every scene set up with Cam Three, I could only have one or two uh, audio Cam Twos in there, or it would cause some kind of problem. Uh, might have been crashing. I don't know what. Something that made me know it, you know. Um, maybe you just, I don't know. I'm just tired now. Okay, so, um, yeah, not, I mean, this is just, it makes no sense to just start crashing. It may be one of those things, of a bad luck day where I just happen to be editing profiles or scenes, sources, and it's just the the day, it, it could have already, see, I, I think what it was is, I don't think I did any streaming that day before I started that. I just started editing, I think. Started editing. Well, I had to edit the profile. I know I had to edit the profile, but, uh, you know, you can't do that while you're recording. So I think I did that first and, like, imported or did whatever I was going to do. Yeah, I think I imported a profile or two before I discovered it was crashing. So I just assumed that, you know, it was what I did. And I did, I'd like, I tried to fix it for all day that day and maybe even the next day. I can't even remember anymore. And then I said, all right, I got too much work to do. But it does, it does still record. So I just, you know, went ahead and just recording every day. <clears throat> and, uh.
Yeah. So if it is some, but I mean, there's no, um, there's bugs in the past that I found, but I haven't found any now. Maybe they haven't they haven't figured maybe OBS hasn't figured it out and decided to go come out and say what it is yet and what's going on yet. They figured it out but they don't want to release what you know, maybe they haven't figured out the fix yet or whatever. Because all I see is people <laughs> hollering for help on their forums and, and they're not getting any help. <laughs> and now they get the standard answer to every question is, Well, post your, your crash logs and then the standard second answer is, Well, that's no good. Because you crashed and it's incomplete. <laughs> so it's just ridiculous. Whoever's, uh, you know, telling them, I don't know if it's just, I kind of think it will, I'm not going to go back on the page again, but I know some of those posters that were saying, please post your class crash log. They were, you know, it says in their forum, this is a, this is a OBS representative, whatever they say it, you know. And uh, so seems to me that now you know when you're in a regular forum you can have just ever all the all the yahoos in the world on there and there's always the ones that think they know everything and they'll say post your crash log or do this or do that and uh they actually don't know what the heck they're talking about you know uh, when you get down to the end of it and it finally gets figured out it's usually someone that just has a lot of experience with the app and they figured out what to do somewhat intuitively you know Crash log. I'm not saying crash logs won't help, um, but um, I hardly ever use them because they're, you know, they're just so detailed and take forever to read. So much of it, uh, I just don't understand. I had, you'd have to be a programmer to understand it. You'd really have to be a programmer on that project to understand them. Probably eighty percent of it. And I know that from working with the Fedora bug reporting system. You know. Uh, that's how I've learned that a long years ago, you know, back in Fedora 5 is where I started with Fedora. So, um, um, it's just no need for us mere mortals to just get too deep into that stuff. You know, that's what the other guys do. So, and they will help you. Although if you're going to go through the bug reporting system, it may be very slow. Um, but anyway, they'll fix it. Point main point being, if it's a bug, uh, they'll fix it. They need to f know that it's a bug. They need to find out it's, there's a bug for them to try to fix it. Of course, so it's good to report that stuff. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> knowing that they will fix the bugs, um, usually I, I do just fine with whatever app it is. If I have a problem. It's usually comes some kind of settings I just changed or something I did or something that's going on in my computer that might not even be, uh, it could be, well, it could be an update from Fedora that's conflicting with it. That's one thing. Well, you can't fix that. You got to wait for them to <clears throat> update, you know, the next update to fix it. If it's a problem within that whatever application you're having trouble with, then you got to wait for them to fix it if it's a bug in that. And maybe that's it, and I'm just, uh, you know, more impatient because I want to use this almost, right now I want to use it every day, and uh, I want it to work. So, um, usually if it's something this hard to fix, I usually don't spend three or four full days on it. I usually just spend one day of several hours, and then I say, okay, I'll wait until they fix it. I mean, not, they don't always fix it, though. <clears throat> But uh, usually they do. So, oh yeah, I'm just talking with the audio meter bumping and nothing else going on. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm so tired. I don't know what the heck I'm doing anymore. So, uh, yeah, there's all backup profile. See, I've made, oh, what? I'm recording in an MP4. When did I do that? See, that's I'm so tired. I must have let my mouse wheel roll or something. And I've recorded this is the second video I've recorded in an MP4. It's still working. <clears throat> so, um, let's 
see if we can. Oh, I know why. Because I switched to. No, that wouldn't do it. Settings are that the scenes are what's in here. The settings are over there. Oh, I did switch profiles. I think. Let's go into the settings. I'm not sure which uh, profile I'm in. I don't think I can tell. But I can go in here to the uh, output. CR. We need to go to recording. Oh, maybe it happened when I changed to uh, change to um, FFmpeg. That must have did it automatically. Maybe you can't change it. Maybe FFmpeg is not going to make. You know what? Yeah. FFmpeg. <laughs> it's not going to make an FLV if it's FFmpeg. But you know what? Well, now see, it is using 20% of CPU, but that's normal for OBS. Well, I'll get to find out if there's any difference in the file. Uh, I sure hope YouTube will let me upload that MP4. They keep, I can't remember. I was, I know I've, I looked earlier, but I've already forgot. Well, I wasn't looking in that section. I think they, you can upload MP4s. You used to could for darn sure. I know that, but they have changed a little bit here and there. Like I know, I swear back when they were really pushing WebM and it was brand new, they also let you upload uh, OGVs or you could actually name OG videos. Uh, you could name them OGG, which is really for OG audio, or OGV stands for OG video. I don't know why OGG stands for OG audio, but that's how they did it. Do it, <clears throat> but uh, but you can have the same, either file extension. Well, actually, for audio, you I don't think you could have OGV on an audio file and have it work right. Like if you try to play it, it would error out. But if you have OGG or OGV on an OG video file, either one will work on most apps. Not all, though. And it used to work. I swear it used to work in YouTube. I can't find a record of that. So somewhere probably in my really old screenshots or videos, I bet it, I have it somewhere. But... Uh, That looks really strange. Keyframe interval frames, 250. That was already there. That was a default, and I didn't bother with it. But I thought that was the one that could only be between 0 and 4. Oh, there it is. Keyframe interval seconds. Oh, seconds. Okay, it's on auto. I, I did it on purpose. Uh, and so the keyframes, 250. Okay, I got you now. Okay, uh, interval frames, yeah. So, we're making an MP4. I rem I thought I remembered when I selected FFmpeg a while ago that uh, I just wanted to try to make sure that wouldn't be what made it work, you know. But I thought, no, I don't think, seemed, I thought, I thought, when I, I thought, you know what, last time I tried that, I thought I had trouble with it, actually, which was a big surprise. <coughs> but, um. Uh, Okay, so that's what I'm recording in right now. All still basically the same. Well, I mean, the, that I've been doing for the last several tries. CBR, 4,000 uh, bit rate. I went up to 5,000 for a little bit, and I thought, well, you know, that might be a little too high for the machine and for maybe. I mean, it's probably not too uh, too much for my connection, but probably not could be too much hard work for my machine. <coughs> But um, none of it is making my stream work. And let's see. Audio, yeah, that's all the same. Uh, ah, I always preferred... Cancel so I don't mess something up. <clears throat> I always preferred MP4s because... Um, used to, actually, it was the opposite that mp4s use less system resources and made a higher quality file um you know and that you could visibly see a better file better sharper video but ever since i uh door 23 ever since Fedora 23 and uh i started using obs uh with its default settings because it worked really well 
<clears throat> and because MP4 was making the machine work too hard. Uh, yeah, work too hard. Okay, so see, but it's not right now. Maybe it's because I changed it to. I think, I think that the you can still select MP4 with the default whatever the encoder is. <coughs> that's not FFmpeg. Maybe that's thinking that's what I had done, and that one doesn't work as well if in, with MP4. And here's the other thing. Um, when you select MP4, back in there so I can, when you select MP4 and you haven't selected FFmpeg, then you get that big warning <coughs> that the files you know <coughs> will be broken if you have power loss. And the other thing is if the, it didn't mention, but if the app, well, BSOD, they said, but if the app crashes, which does happen, then your file won't be usable. Unless maybe you can fix it. We well, can edit it <coughs> usually, and that and when you encode it from it after with the editor, like uh, Caden Live is what I like, <coughs> then that will give it a ending. <coughs> from <coughs> problem is it doesn't have an ending <coughs> ending marker because oh, VLC will still play them, but <coughs> they won't play in most other a lot of other players. Maybe not most of the players. And YouTube doesn't, it gives problems with YouTube. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll probably go back to the, uh, <clears throat> I'll probably go back to uh, the type standard default or whatever it says <clears throat> because it's not you know especially with all this experimenting I'm doing here I might end up with uh, <clears throat> um, and if it, you know if I keep on trying to stream and it crashes and all that stuff it, all, every one of those FLVs still worked and uh, uploaded into YouTube and they all still work Yeah, I, could, I was gonna. Say, I could play like this one here. That's I can actually play the one I'm making. You can do that, but if you get to the end, it will. Uh, it's not very long, and you get to the end, it. Well, I have seen it kill your video that you're recording when that happens in some apps. I probably wouldn't do it. With MP4, but I have with some other. <clears throat> I don't remember which formats or which apps now. But. Um, to see if I can tell any difference because whenever I upload these, I'm going to upload all these files. I went ahead and renamed these today, but I haven't uploaded them yet. <clears throat> well, actually, all this is today. Every bit of this is all what I've done today. So I'm going to upload it all. Hopefully, one, the, la one of, the last one will end up being the one where I've got it fixed or where it fi gets fixed by them. But the main thing I want to make sure right now is that I don't completely break it so I can't even make videos. But yeah, I probably will go back to FLV. It still kind of grasps me using Flash because Flash has given me so much headache ever since it came out. I, I can't stand it really. But, well, I couldn't stand it until it, they started using it in OBS and it works so well. <clears throat> Whatever they've done, the, I think they have their own encoder. And that's why uh, most programs like this use FFmpeg as the default encoder, but I think they have their own encoder that has always worked really well. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, I don't know whatever's wrong with CI. I'm in, uh, you can see about all those audio and video inputs showing up there in Cam 1. That is. Uh, See. Cam 2, oh, well, that's that one. Okay, yeah, the one that has audio cam 2 in every one of them. Okay. Well, why do I have, okay, see, there's not some, oh, you can't see that. If I go to cam 2 and desktop, I guess you can see it. See how many are in there? We've got audio from cam 2, <clears throat> which is not being used. Desktop, 
uh, mic aux and then the video stream. That's what it, why it looks so full because that video stream is showing up in there too. That video stream is the video you're seeing of me. <clears throat> and then that's the SM58. That would be a desktop audio if I had any going. And then the Cam 2 audio. And, uh, yeah, my <clears throat> shortcuts, F2, F2 shortcut works. F4 works. Yeah, so I'm in, I'm in the number two then, I guess. <clears throat> I, can't, I couldn't remember what I was in. But I do want to go back and change those settings. Um, do a screenshot of that. Maybe that'll help me remember. And then yeah, I'm going to go in here and do a screenshot of these. say oh now you can change containers even but I didn't touch it I probably didn't I don't think I noticed it <clears throat> it's like you could select that I'm trying to find where oh right there FFmpeg yeah you can whoops I don't know why you'd want to change that during but look at all those choices that's for <clears throat> Oh, audio and video containers, yeah. H61, H... See how much there is to know about this stuff? <clears throat> that is a lot. Now, WebM, I know probably 10 or 20 of these. Some are audio, some are audio, some are video, some I think are combination. And there's AUG and OGV that I've been talking going on and on about. <clears throat> AUG is uh, pretty good, I mean good quality, but it is not all that small of a file size for the quality. Not as good as uh, MP4 on that, and it doesn't stream very well. It streams, but not well. <clears throat> And uh, what else do they have in there? <clears throat> it's going to say, yeah, AVI is the highest quality, probably of any of the ones, the common ones, but it uh, doesn't stream at all. You have to just download it. AIF is a high quality audio. AIFF. <clears throat> and uh, ASF is real common. <clears throat> But as you can see, let if the program can figure out what's best and works well, leave it <clears throat> on the defaults. Leave it on. Let it figure it out. Because <clears throat> unless you really know all this stuff, and there I see things in there that I never even seen before. SWF, that is actually another. That's a flash animation, but it can be videos. It was originally used for flash animation can be a, make a video with that but it's really low quality <clears throat> so if you're going to do flash I would do FLV <clears throat> RTP I thought that was just RTSP those are streaming protocols so I don't know why they're in this section here the original MPEG MP, M, audio MP3 MP4 MP2 was it before MP3, if you didn't know that. <clears throat> and I was around when that all came out, and I used it. Um, MOV is the uh, video format. <clears throat> uh, I was going to say, well, I was going to say, <clears throat> you find it in cameras a lot. <clears throat> I was going to say, who made it? Now I can't remember. <clears throat> <clears throat> Might be. Apple. <clears throat> I think it might be Apple. <clears throat> I'm going to say Mac, but you would really probably should say Apple. Mac is, of course, the operating system that Apple makes. So. <clears throat> but, of course, it would work on a Mac. But then there's MPEG-1, MPEG-2, 
MPEG GT MPEG TS. Oh, that's a uh, that's a transport stream. I think that's what TS stands for. <clears throat> um, anyway, somewhere there will be MP4. Oh, there's MP4 right there. Oh, well, that's audio. No, that's video. Audio and video. <clears throat> right. Okay, so there they are. Raw video. You can use. Wow. I don't know. You can stream raw video. I do see plenty, plenty that I do know what, what they are. I've seen VOC before. VOB, that's what you used to see on the DVDs. VCD, video CD, <coughs> WebM, which is pretty good format. That's the one that uh, Google used to push, YouTube used to push so much. <coughs> YUV is often used in <coughs> webcams. I don't know about all the extra <clears throat> stuff in there. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm surprised that you can do anything in that while you're recording, but I'm, I don't want to mess this recording up. So I'm trying to be, I'm going to hit cancel and get out of here before I jack something up. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, I've already. I don't know how many times I've got to work and only cough, talked, and then took another cough drop today. Take too many of these things, and I'll I'll get a. It'll make your throat raw. <clears throat> oh, dang you, goofball! It's one forty-eight now. I was gonna quit. I should have just done it. Um. I ate my supper and I was really tired and I was ready to shut the machine down, go get a bath. Then I thought, I'm going to try one more thing. Just one more thing. My camera's frozen up. It's tired. It's tarder than I am, <clears throat> I guess. I was going to try one more thing. Let's see if that'll bring it back. Nope. Probably my router and or my phone is just full. The caches are full and just can't or can't do anymore <clears throat> so um anyway i'm ready to quit now i don't think i um uh, i don't think i um played them i can't remember if i did my beginning titles but i guess i'll do my exit titles <clears throat> all right um didn't get it working but at least I can still record videos and learn. I'm learning. If I can just remember, it. that's the problem is I remember it for a few weeks, maybe a couple of months, and then it starts fading away. <clears throat> so when I need it again, I've got to start researching again. But <clears throat> that's the joy of computing, isn't it? <laughs> Unless you got a fantastic memory. <coughs> <coughs> All right, I'm going to go now.